Today on A Common the Good MTG, we're playing Urbrask's War Leader, a Boros deck that focuses heavily on comboing up War Leader's Call with things like Urbrask's Forge, the Skrelv's Hive, and Skitterbeam Battalion. Bam, 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 bam. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, a person who has definitive proof that Liliana is based off of a young Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Dr. You can suck it! Yes, thank you! Film before a live studio audience. Thank you so much! You can suck it! Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today once again for my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck of my own creation, which I'm calling Urbrask's War Leader. War Laid. Ur. War Leader, War Leader, War Leader, War Leader. All right. What's the deal? So the deal was, is I was just like, man, I'm tired of playing these slow control decks. I want aggro. I want aggro. I want ones when I put a creature out, the guy gets shot in the face. That's War Leader's Call. And I thought, you know what I really want to do? I'm going to mix it together with an old uh, Boros Nuke. So what did I do? I stripped out the Nuke. I stripped out the Nuke, which is Devilish Valet. And I still got some other stuff. And I focused more on, uh, yeah, with the stuff going on. Put War Leader's Call in. I think I might have messed around with it. It looks pretty much... I think I remember I put Lightning Strike in. But anyways, yeah, this is what we ended up with. Uh, oh, yeah, the lands are way different, too. I just went bare bones, 12 and 12. All right, so that's it. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to talk about the cards in this deck really quick. We're going to talk a little bit how this deck should work. And then we're going to go out and we're going to crush some hopes and dreams. All right, let's just take a look at the core here. What do we got? We got World Leader's Call. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent. So this is great in a, multi a multiplayer deck. Multiplayer against multiple people, right? All right, what are we going to do to get that, to, to start getting creatures out? Urbrask Forge, every turn, one guy. So that's one point of damage. Plus, you got a guy that gets bigger by one every single turn and has Trample and Haste. So, yeah, between the two of them, you got a consistent amount of damage being dealt regardless of what you get a guy through. That's all there is to it, right? Skrell's High puts a guy out, one per turn. Uh, we've got um, Burn on the House that puts out three guys. We got Skitterbeam Battalion that puts out three guys. We got Rabble Browsing that puts out guys equal to the number of guys you attacked with in this turn. So, yeah, it just has the ability to just balloon up the number of guys that you're doing, causing so much damage. Plus, each of those guys is getting a popo, right? So they're all plus one, plus one more than whatever they are normally. And these guys, some of these guys even got Trample. Trample. All right, so beyond that, we've got, uh, what, Lightning Strike. We got, just to do some three points of damage and a clutch. If any card is not going to work out, it's going to be Lightning Strike. Big score for drawing the cards that we're looking for, because you want to get Urbass Forge, War Leader's Call. If you got, maybe you need to get some more mana, and this will give you more mana once you play it, so no problem, right? And uh, last guy in here, Vanquish the Horde for wiping the board in case things get tight, which they always do. And I like Vanquish the Horde because even though it's eight, the deal is it costs one less for each creature on the battlefield. And usually you want to wipe the board when there's a bunch of dudes on the battlefield. And you're going to be putting a bunch of dudes in the battlefield. So even if they only get out one or two big guys, you'll probably have enough little guys out that you could play this thing for two or three. Way cheaper than what you'd play it for otherwise. Uh, the other one you can use to do as a board wipe is burn down the house. So we got a couple of, uh, this one backs up this one. I'd recommend using this for the creature more times than not if you can help it. All right, just regular lands. So this is a V1 version of the deck. I think we're going to have some improvements. We'll play in a V2 sometime in the future. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to try to quickly get to War Leaders Call and Urbras Forge. We'll put them out and let them just keep attacking and causing damage. We'll be throwing out other dudes with Skrell's Hive. 
eventually get out rabble rousing and then hopefully burn down the house and Skitter B Battalion using Vanquish the Horde to save our butts. That's it. All right, before we go out and do our damage, let's do as we do every night and say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together, dear Black King Toxroll, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, playing against, call me Big P Pika. Big Pika. Call me Big Pika. No, I will not do that. All right, we got three mana and lots of things that cost three. That sounds fantastic. Let's just hope we can keep it all out. One. Let's, let's wave our bushy tail. Two. Don't look at me. All right, he's hoping to go against creatures he could just kill, and I don't have that kind of thing going on. There's nothing there, man. No creatures. I can't do anything to you. Of course, you kill my Urbrass Forge. I'm going to be in sorry shape. You got two mana, huh? Nothing to do? All right, we're going to get our way up to five here tomorrow, on the next turn. I was saying tomorrow. In the face! Yeah, that's it. That's a, that's a temporary patch, baby. Actually, I'm going to put down War Leader's Call. I want to double up on it because I'm greedy that way. No, 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 no. Don't do that, no. All right, there we go. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be six. Oh, don't make me do it. Pow, pow, and another one. Pow, pow. All in, baby. That's eight. Oh, man. Ward Leader's Call and Urbrass Forge. So juicy. Let's go be mean. One, two, three, and the four, five. We don't even have to attack. Good game, my friend. Victory! All right, we're playing against Nippelheim. Nippelheim. Ah, uh, Morgan. I will keep it. Let's get rid of big score. All right, my whole future is pretty much War Leader's Call of Rest Forge. Do we need to shoot anything in the face? I'll save this for a... Glissa. You could probably get rid of... Artifacts and Enchantments. I don't like that. There's Glissa. Exactly who I was waiting for. She comes back out, we're totally screwed. No attacks. So we got three mana. I need what? Seven to cast it right now. Get some more creatures out, I can wipe the board. I'll take a big hit in before then, though. All right, let's just send in the boys. All 
Alright, 14. He's losing life, but he's gaining one. He's netting one out of every deal. Back up to 17. Sweet googly moogly people. Alright, we're toast. I don't think we have any ability to deal with the Phyrexian Obliterator. I really don't. I mean, my big deal is what? Get the guys out? I gotta wipe the board is what I gotta do. Uh, I need six. I could... I could do it while the Urbrasks are out. That's probably the deal. Yeah, that's my deal. Who's two? Next. Get out there. One more. Perfect. All right. No tax. Wipe it. Destroy all creatures. No fights. No fighting. All right, I don't care. We're going to lose all of our land is what we're going to lose. One. All right, he's got a couple guys up there. He can start slamming me with his outhouses. All right, we got nine in front of us. All attack. All right, cool. We just got to get guys out next turn. We don't have any mana. We're not going to get anything in our hand out. That's not the guy we need. You don't need that guy. You're dead, by the way. Unless you can gain life. Unless you can kill me this turn. Nope. All right, that's it. One. Two. You gonna start sucking life? You gonna start a fight? It's gonna happen, man. I don't, I don't care. There we go. Woo, that was skin of our teeth. Victory! All right, we are playing against Mike. Mike Leland, Lee Landy. Mike Lee Landy. Basically, the question is, is, do I think I get a white mana before I get to turn three? Let's say yes. I like it otherwise. I love this hand, actually. All right. That's, there's a lot of gambling there. All right, this guy's already boring me. There's a white, good. All right, two. You pass the rock. There we go. Let's go for World Leader's Call. All right, if we get up to five, that'd be fantastic. Here we go. Urbass Forge. Ah, we're racing in. And we really only need one more mana to do some incredibly awesome things. All 
Oh, he's only got two mana. I feel bad for the guy now. Ah, big score. Is that what I want to do? Let's do it. I'm going to... Let's get rid of one of the Ravel Rousings. Nice. All right, so I got five. I could just play another Worldly Just Call. Let's do that. All right, that's two. Shot for two and another couple pops. You are playing an entirely different game than I am. I'm not sure you should have cared about that so much. Here we go. Rabble rousing. Yeah, this is pretty devastating, PB. You got three mana now. I think you're reading my stuff, which means you're probably new is the other thing. You just get rid of it. All right, good for you. Ah, uh, let's grab another one of these. That sounds like a lot of fun. What did I just get rid of? Oh, I see. That was dumb, and I thought I was going to get it. Instead, I chose to throw it in the, in the exile bin like crazy. That was just stupid. All right, man, I pretty much got your doom here. I don't think you're going to be able to make it out of this. Maybe I could just vanquish the horde to just uh, make you feel a lot of despair. So right now I get out, it's going to be what? One guy is two shots. I get out another three more. That's going to be six. So that's going to be a total of eight. Not enough. Yeah, vanquish, vanquish the horde is a good way to go. Oh, plus I'd be able to do a little bit of damage, probably. I probably could have done it if I would have just burned down the house with some devils. Shot them in the face when they died kind of situation. Yeah, that's right. I had tons of hasty guys. All right, he has the ability to kill me. He just has to be able to pump his 4 4. All right, it just depends. Does he have cards to pump? Looks like he's searching. He doesn't think he has it. All right, come on, my friend. This is not hard. He's looking for anything to help him out. I got me down to one. I mean, that's that's great. That's great on your part. I don't think you could do. I don't think you could do direct damage with me or green. And they don't even have to attack. And we win! 
I shouldn't, that just doesn't feel like I should be so uh, victorious about it. But still, it's a victory. All right. We're playing against Aelmar. Oh, where they just call and then nothing. I'll keep it just because I really have hope we can get some creatures there. Anguish the Horde makes me feel like we could potentially do something if he starts putting a bunch of creatures out. All right, red up. Two, all right, that's actually a really good forward. One thing I like about this guy is the fact that he drains my life. This is white, man. Why would that cost me a life? All right, three war leaders call. Don't be a jerk. All right, go get him. Go get him, yo. Come on, let me push the buttons. Don't be looking at my artifact or my enchantments. I don't like the fact that you think you could do something about it. No, I can't do anything. He's blowing smoke rings right now. All right, good. We got a fourth mana. Let's just go for the attack first. And I'm going to big score it. Oh, oh, that was the best. That was the best. The problem is I don't have enough mana to do all of them at one time, so it means I got to pick. I'm thinking rabble rousing is the best way to go. Right, what do I got? I got four, five, six. I got five and five. I can oh, get forward. Alright, let's Urbrass Forge. Nope. I want to rabble rouse. Dang. Okay, Urbrass Forge. That's fine. And uh they can't block anyway. I'm planning on just wiping things out here. And I got a couple of chumps out of the deal, so not bad. Yeah, I don't mind him growing his forces while I have Vanquish the Horde in my back pocket. I just got to get up to 10, which means if I throw a guy out next turn, I'll have 10, which will get my other Urbrasks out. So it looks like Urbrask Forge is going to be the next, the next item on the Price is Right. It means if I really want to do nothing, I should just not block so I can keep my dudes out. Red Rover, Red Rover, send your paratrooper right over.
All right, we're down to nine. What are you doing now? You gonna convoke? That'd be cool. All right, let's go for it. Here we go. Try to put on another rabble rousing. Let's do that. That ought to be fun. Uh, scrolls hive, sure. Oh, I couldn't attack with enough. All right, it's down to three. Did we win? Otherwise, I'm going to have to vanquish the horde. He's got, what, two blockers? And we win. All right, there we go. I didn't want to do the math. Things are just going to happen regardless. Victory! Our plan against Anarion. Anarion. All right, we're going to Skrull's Hive, get into an Urbass Forge. Hopefully get a World War Leader's Call here at some point. We got a lot of Skrull's Hives, though. Alright, I'm all in. Yeah, those things cause me maybe one point per turn of life. That's not great. We got all four of them now. All right, let's just hope we can just win. That would be great. That would be great. Like we get like a whole bunch of toxic in or something. This guy's going full on Esper up there. It's gonna blow away them one at a time. Yeah, I need a war leader's call. All right, nah, that's pretty much it. The game just plays itself. That is a lot of mana for no reason. All right, he's up to five and 10. We're at 11. We're gonna lose four life next turn. Really, it looks like the toxicity might be the thing that wins us the game. I mean, I've got more than enough to kill him with toxic. Three devils. All in, baby cakes. There we go. I don't think math is going to be needed here. Oh, we did it all. We did it all. What a delivery system. Victory. All right. With a 70% win rate, we've got Ura Brask's War Leader. Oh, this was so good. I mean, it's not that different from 
all of the little swarm decks with the world leader that you're seeing. But this one focuses a lot on self-perpetuating cards that uh, put out creatures every turn. That's why we got Urbass Forge, Skrelv's Hive. Uh, then we got the guys that put out multiples at the same time, which is Burn Down the House and Skitterbeam Battalion. But those are high-end, not the cheap white ones. These guys are high-end, super awesome multiple guys that come out that uh, do other things instead. They got Haste. They got Trample. They got the ability to do damage if they die. Man, yeah, this is this is top shelf stuff here, man. You're not, we're not just messing around. All right, let's see. So who was the MVP, the most valuable player? It was War Leader's Call. That is hard. That is a that is a tough thing to say while Urbrass Forge is in there. But yeah, War Leader's Call is the thing that makes this deck go from being good to being great. Because of all that extra damage and then the lording that it does for everything. Yeah, War Leader's Call, I mean. The fact that it says creatures you control get plus one, plus one, that is so incredibly rough. I mean, you think it almost do. I've seen this in the past where it says like red creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and white creatures you control get plus zero, plus one. That seems more like what they should have done in a, in a mixed color deck, a mixed color card like that. But instead, they just say all creatures, all stinky creatures. Like, I mean, why did they just say like soldiers or something, you know? Anyways, that it is too powerful, in my opinion. It probably deserves to be banned. But while we have it, I do love it. I do love it. All right, War Leaders Call, you are the MVP of this deck. Congratulations. You are going to Disneyland. All right, does this thing competitive? I ended up picking up a 70% win rate. I thought this deck was great. Um, I thought that, I think that it uh, it's definitely in that Platinum Mythic level. Um, yeah, it does very well. I mean, it, the big thing is that at the beginning, it's not, it, you know, it doesn't have going on. I mean, three is not bad. And three is when it starts to go crazy. But if you're going against aggro, eh, maybe it's missing out on stuff. I'm really relying upon Vanquish the Horde. And that starts off at eight. And I want them to put out a bunch of little guys. So by turn three, I can wipe them out with, you know, two whites and something else. Um, yeah, I, I, Vanquish the Horde is a great card. But yeah, if they end up putting out big creatures then it's difficult because it'd still be an expensive card. But yeah, I guess little aggro, Vanquish the Hard is going to do well. Of course, you have to get to it, but there are four in this deck. There's a good chance. You know, at five, you can burn down the house big time. It's all good. And there's no life gain. If anything, I think this deck might need is life gain. Life gain. So that's why you might see Urbask War Leader V2 in the future. Possibly some life gain in here. Not sure what I get rid of. Lightning Strike. That was the one card I thought was completely useless in this deck. That's also hard to say because Lightning Strike is usually... Such a clutch utility card, yet I almost didn't care. I almost didn't care at all about Lightning Strike. Everything else was so much better. But yeah, with Skrill's Hive costing you life, with I could put out that one enchantment that just says every time a creature comes in, you gain one life. I would probably be, that's, that's the ticket right there. Because that's going to give you what you need to, to shrug off the little hits from other people, as well as the fact that you're going to get a bunch of dudes out that's going to keep getting you life over and over again. All right, let's see. Was this deck uh, fun? Yes. Yeah, it was fun, big time. I mean, even if I couldn't get out World Leader's Call, you got Urbask Forge, you got Skrelv's Hive, putting things out all the time. Ending the game up with a Skitter Beam for five is always great because you got these little dudes running around 2-2, two -two, Trample Haste. Uh, what I like is when they are World Leader Called as well so they can get pumped somewhat. I like it even better if I could pay nine, but I'm not counting on that. We don't have any way of mana ramping. I guess big score is kind of a mana ramp, but getting up to nine, that is hardcore with this deck. Still, um, I, I love this deck quite a bit. It's all about putting out lots of dudes. Rabble Rousing is fantastic. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This was a fun deck. Was it interesting? That's where I'm going to pull back a tiny bit here, just because it. when you put Waterly just Call, there's pretty much one thing you can do. You can put out lots of guys, right? Um, usually you do that by just putting out a bunch of cheap guys. In my case, I went the other direction. I went out with consistent guys where I'm going to get, you know, one guy per turn, per artifact enchantment that I'm putting out there. Or I'm going to be putting out a one card that puts out like three guys, right? So that's where I thought the interesting part came from. So I definitely thought that for a War Leaders Call deck, this was a very interesting attempt, which was different than what we're seeing otherwise. All right, so let's add it up. Was this deck competitive? Yes. Was it fun? Totes. Was it interesting? It totally was. That means that this is an A-plus deck. 
And as I'm required by federal law to say, this deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. All right, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Later.